Well, let's continue. And thank you again for continuing in this message that Ron and I are putting together on this Sunday, for this Sunday. There's a story from the first century BC that took place when much of the world was not yet clearly mapped out. The map makers had to have some way of portraying those areas of the earth that were as yet unexplored. So, they symbolized these regions with drawings of dragons, monsters, and large fish around them. The message was clear. Unchartered territories were frightening, and they had fear when they contemplated reaching the edge of the map. Terrors lay buried there, but as the maps declared, there may be treasures as well. The story goes like this. One commander of a battalion of Roman soldiers was caught up in a battle that took him into the territory that the map makers had represented with monsters and serpents. Not knowing whether to forge ahead into the unknown or turn back to the known, which would also represent retreat, he dispatched a messenger to Rome. And his message went like this. Please send new orders. We've marched off the map. Over these last days, I've had the feeling that that commander had. Indeed, we've marched off the map. I don't know sometimes whether to spend my energy looking ahead and kind of my worry of the monsters and the unknown ahead, or whether to turn to my right or turn to my left and focus on what the state officials or what health officials or what federal spokespersons are saying. One thing I try to make sure I do is to look up, to not forget to look up. I don't forget that the Spirit will not descend without a song. And I recite favorite words from the God who stands at the edge of the map, literally at our wit's end. Words from the prophet Isaiah. Words from the Psalms. Or the words of Jesus, who says to his disciples, You shall cross barren deserts, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you rest. He goes on in some other lines from the scriptures, if you pass through raging waters in the sea, you shall not drown. I am with you through it all. Blessed are you poor, for the kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are you that weep and mourn, for one day you shall laugh. Be not afraid, I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you rest. We're going to break now, and I hope that you will continue with us in a moment.